The Recycling Royal How Meghan has been subtly re-wearing staple items in her tour wardrobe, including her 566-pound Tabitha Simmons heels and 1,300-pound trench coat. Meghan has mastered the art of a wardrobe staple so far on her royal tour, subtly re-wearing key items on multiple occasions. The Duchess of Sussex, 37 has worn her 566 pounds Tabitha Simmons Millie heels with three different outfits so far in Australia and Fiji, including both formal and more casual looks. She has also worn her 1,287 pounds trench coat by Australian designer Martin Grant on two occasions while in Sydney and Melbourne, paying tribute to the country with her choice of outerwear. Meghan, who is expecting her first child in the spring, also rewore her Castanier canvas wedges Padres, priced at £80, in Fiji today, after wearing them during a visit to Bondi Beach in Cindy last Friday. Meanwhile, the Duchess has stepped out in her Outland denim jeans on three occasions, after they sold out when she first wore them in Dubbo, New South Wales, last week. She has worn a number of her staple items in the past, prior to the royal tour proving how she has been mixing items from her own wardrobe with new pieces. Celebrity stylist Lucas Armitage, who is creative director of Posied London, told Fennell, whilst the demands on Meghan's wardrobe are immense she isn't afraid to be economical and reuse staple pieces. This presumably is for practical and logistical reasons whilst traveling. Meghan demonstrates that a good pair of shoes has many uses. Take her Tabitha Simmons black sling back courts. With her Martin Grant trench she shows how a stylish item never goes out of fashion. He added that Meghan's royal tour wardrobe could prove inspiration for others when traveling. I have personally seen so many women overpack whilst traveling so it's great to see Meghan taking a concise and versatile capsule wardrobe on her first royal tour, he said. Meghan first wore her slingback heels by British brand Tabitha Simmons with a black high-neck dress by Amelia Wickstead for the opening of Anzac Memorial in Sydney on Saturday. She kept on the same shoes after changing into a more casual blazer and jeans ensemble for the Invictus Games driving challenge, before re-wearing them on Tuesday on arriving to Fiji. The Duchess appears keen to rotate her footwear also wearing her 360-pound Stuart Weitzman legend high heel pumps on two occasions, the first day of the royal tour in Sydney, and again at the Invictus Games opening ceremony on Saturday night. She first wore the nude heels during a day of engagements in Sussex with Harry earlier this month. Meghan has also worn her Sarah Flint Greer sandals, priced at £277, with two different outfits while in Fraser Island after previously wearing them at a polo match earlier this year. Besides her Martin Grant trench coat, Meghan has also worn her 140 pounds Outland denim Harriet jeans on three occasions, in Dubbo, at the Prime Minister's lunch reception in Sydney, and while travelling to Fiji. The Duchess has reworn a number of items she's been spotted in the past, including her J. Crew linen shirt, Mishan on your skirt, Aquazura de Nouveau pumps and her Orden Avalon zip top crossbody bag. She also recycled her Stella McCartney cape back dress, having previously worn it at the Queen's 92nd birthday celebrations in April.